Welcome to Crypto Journeys, the series where everyone's journey is different, but crypto can be for everyone. This month, we celebrate the ladies of cryptocurrency. Brought to you by guapcoin.org, cryptocurrency for the culture. Don't forget to get your Crypto Vibes tees at cryptovibes.com, only $30, including shipping. Order today at cryptovibes.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Crypto Journeys, a series where everyone's journey is different, but crypto can be for everyone. Today we have Letitia Murphy. Welcome, Diva. Hello, everyone. So um, this month, July, we are celebrating the ladies of cryptocurrency. And we're on at a different time because I had to have... My girl Tish, come on, and she was only available tonight, so we're all late this Thursday. Thank you for being here. How are you today? What's going on? I'm good. Busy day, but very good. Excellent, excellent. So Letitia and I have been friends since like 08, maybe, and we met back when I was doing hair cruises. I used to have an uh, annual natural hair cruise. And that's how we met and just connected and traveled and did all kinds of fun things since then that we won't get into on this in the video. But <laughs> no, spare the people. <laughs> so Tish, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I am a retired U.S. Army veteran, 20 years. Um, I thought I wanted to be in... HR since that's what I did in the military and did that after retirement and realized I didn't like it. So I changed careers and went to school to get my aesthetics license. So I am the proud owner of Royal Skin Studio. I am also an educator for aesthetics as well, as well as a travel agent, as well as a crypto enthusiast. So that's a little bit about me. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, this is my skin and travel diva. Whenever I need info on either, that is my go-to. So I know that you are super busy. You have a lot going on. What happened, Tish, that made you pay attention to crypto? Um, money. <laughs> money made me pay attention to crypto. Um, like I told you guys, I started after retirement working in HR and realized that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I didn't want to work as hard anymore. I had given the military 20 years of my life. I served my country and I just didn't want to work hard. So I switched over to aesthetics and um, I started crypto prior to, or was it in the middle of the pandemic? I don't remember. I think it, it was before. Happened. It was it before, was before mm -hmm. which was a good thing because um I follow Ansela. Ansela does a lot and um, we keep in touch. We kind of tag along in, in different areas of our life. And I know she's smart about her money. So I asked questions because I was interested in making some more money where I didn't have to work hard. And crypto was just the thing for me. It worked. See, and that's so key. Ask questions, get an understanding. Um, it, I just feel like so many people are hesitant because of what they're hearing and, you know, other reasons, uh, uncomfortable with things that are new and unfamiliar. But how else will you grow? You know, how else will you grow if you don't ask questions? Try to find out. And, you know, in this age, we have access to all the information in the world, literally, yeah. Yeah. literally. So just do some research and figure it out. Um, and what was your first step? What's the first thing you did? Um, the first thing I did is I bought um, Ethereum when it was less than $300. <laughs> Let's just say that. Right. So it's been a while. So I did. I bought um, Ethereum when it was less than $300 and watched it skyrocket, um, made some money, spent the money, enjoyed my life with the money that I didn't have to work for. But yeah, that was my first start, um, start was um, Ethereum. I've bought some more since then. I'm learning a lot about the alternative coins. So I'm starting to purchase more and more, but I'm happy with what I have. 
It is that simple. And that's why I love to have people who are at different stages in this game. I've had people on who are teaching and I've had people on who are into NFTs. I had a young man on who's been into this since he was a teenager, but wow. it doesn't matter who you are or what you're doing. Crypto can fit into your life. That said, has crypto changed your life? And if so, how? It has. Um, I would say I've earned money um, from Bitcoin and Ethereum both. Um, I've cashed out and spent the money on everyday items such as paying a bill. Um, but the biggest purchase was I did a one week vacation to Jamaica. What month we in? This is July. July. June. When did I go? May? May. May. June, you in May, yeah. <laughs> and I literally did not want to spend any of my money that I actually had to work for and put in some sweat. Um, so I cashed out um a significant amount of ethereum and that's all i spent on my vacation for a week in jamaica and i spent none of the money that i worked for none of the money out of my bank account savings checking it was all crypto so i had a fabulous trip on cryptocurrency and i'm so glad you said that because there's a lot of uh commentary and people seem to push the idea that you can only hold your coins, hold okay. until it matures or gets money, gets more value or, you know, moon, behold until it moons or whatever. And of course, you can 100% do that. Mm -hmm. However, I would love for more people to realize that you can also pull profits and you can enjoy your crypto earnings and your crypto gains right now. There's no law that says you have to hold until... Bitcoin reaches 100,000 or Ethereum reaches 20,000 or 50,000, whatever. There's no law that says that. So don't feel like what you're seeing being promoted are your only options. The whole purpose of cryptocurrency is to do with it what you wish. That's the whole point of it. So don't buy into this idea that there's only one way to do crypto because it's, it's not the case at all. So great point. Thanks for sharing. I know you had a busy day today. I'm going to let you go ahead and wind down for the evening. <laughs> Thank you for being here as one of our ladies of cryptocurrency. And of course, it. we'll be talking later. Yes. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you're watching the replay or on YouTube, thank you so much. Like and subscribe. And we will see you guys the next episode of Crypto Journeys, our last one with the ladies. Everybody take care. Good night. Good night, Tish.